CoolersOnSale.com here for our second ice challenge. This is our small cooler ice challenge. Here we have five coolers between 20 and 25 quarts. We're gonna run a test very similar to our large five day ice challenge that we ran back in December. Uh, this one is going to be for the smaller coolers because that's what everyone's asked for as a result of the first video. If you haven't seen that, check here or check on our YouTube channel. You can see our five day ice challenge. But for right now, we're gonna be testing the small coolers. We have the Vibe Kayak element 20, the Yeti Roadie 20, the Engel 25, Siberian Sidekick 22, and then a Grizzly 20 at the end. Same uh, principles that we did from the last time. Uh, these coolers have been set up now for 36 hours uh, pre-chilling. I'll give you a look on the inside of what that looks like. We're going to add five sodas uh, to the top uh, that have not been pre-chilled and then add ice on top and we'll be underway. I will be doing a reading. Someone. Uh, a few people actually have asked for a temperature reading of the outside and the inside of the coolers every day. We're going to open these coolers three times a day, rotate the drinks from the top to the bottom, bottom to the top, morning, midday, and then evening. We're going to leave them out here on the dock for the entire duration of the test. So we'll give you a look of what they look like after 36 hours of pre-chilling. We'll add the Cokes and then we'll be underway. So as you just saw, all the coolers are now filled back with ice. We drained all the water first, as you saw, and then filled them with five canned beverages and then topped them off with ice again. Gave a temperature reading of the inside. All of them were about uh, anywhere from 22 to 26 degrees internally. It is now 70 degrees on the dock. I'm just reading 70 degrees on this dock, so it is quite warm. Uh, we are at the end of April in Florida and we're supposed to get our first 90 degree day here in the, in the state of Florida. Um, so. It's gonna be warm. These things are gonna be sitting in the sun. We're not taking them back into the garage. Although I will note when I brought these out of the garage today, every one of these coolers had condensation around the drain plug. So just keep that in mind. If you keep this in the back of your truck or something, that there might be condensation if it's in an enclosed area around the drain plug. Nothing major, just something to keep an eye on. So the scene is set here. This is uh, CoolersOnSale.com. Uh, ice challenge for the small coolers, 20 to 25 quart. And if you haven't already, be sure to enter to win. We're gonna be giving away this Hydro Dip uh, Siberian Sidekick 22 uh, on Cinco de Mayo. So if it's already passed, go ahead and subscribe. We're gonna be doing more cooler giveaways in the future, but this is our next cooler giveaway is the Siberian Sidekick. And we look forward to more and we'll have the results of the small cooler ice challenge coming up soon. Day one of the small cooler ice challenge is underway. These are 20 to 25 quart coolers. Uh, as you just saw, the early leader in the small cooler ice challenge is the Yeti Roadie and the Grizzly 20, uh, albeit slight. Every one of the coolers um, was reading between 27 and 28 degrees internally. Uh, outside right now in the sun, we're reading between 85 and 90 degrees. Uh, still in the shade, we're re reading about 78 on the dock. So as the sun comes up, and starts uh, baking these coolers, they should reach 90 degrees or more on the outside. So that's day one. We'll pick back up.
Entering day number three here of the small cooler ice challenge brought to you by CoolersOnSale.com. As you just saw, all of the coolers have significant ice melt uh, as we enter the, the third day. Uh, the only separation that I see right away is the Grizzly. The Grizzly is the only cooler with enough surface tension with the ice uh, difference between the ice and the water to keep the beverages on top. The rest of them, they just uh, the beverages sink to the bottom because there's not enough ice remaining to keep them above that. Uh, it was absolutely scorching yesterday. Yesterday we read uh, anywhere from 100 degrees on up to 150 on the Siberian lid. So really, really hot. The sun is beaming down on these. Uh, every one of these coolers this morning has condensation on them. Uh, so you are going to get that if you are in a human environment. Uh, but uh, like I said, this is day number three. It's going to be another hot one here. And we'll see the separation uh, as we enter day number four. Entering day number four of the small cooler ice challenge here. As you just saw, we're reading about 68 degrees on the cooler lids, about uh, 29 to 32 degrees on the inside. The only separation we're seeing after three days is the vibe. Uh, it has maybe 25, 30 chunks of ice left. It, I would be really surprised if it makes it halfway through the day. It's going to be another hot one. Uh, and then I would say the Yeti, the Engle, and the Siberian are all pretty pretty close with the Grizzly leading uh, after three days. So it should be another hot one here today in Florida. Uh, again, I'll be surprised if the vibe makes it through the day. Um, and then the only separation that we're seeing is the Grizzlies kind of leading the pack with the other three. So we'll check you halfway through the day, mix up the beverages, and then again this evening, and we'll see what's happening on the beginning of day number five. We've reached the end of the test. We're entering day number five. That's four complete days of the small cooler ice challenge and all the coolers are out of ice. We'll walk you through them. First up, the Vibe um, Element 20. This ran out of ice at about three days, a little over three days. Next up is the Yeti Rody 20. This ran out of ice uh, somewhere between last night and this morning. So we can say it, it will make it about three and a half to four days. The Ingle ran out of ice uh, before the Yeti. It would made it about three and a half days. The Siberian Sidekick 22 Court made it about three and a half days. And the Grizzly made it the longest. We would say it made it about four days. It's still 36 degrees in there, so I think we just lost all the ice this morning. Uh, so about four days that you get out of the Grizzly. We'll go back through order. The longest or the, uh, the cooler that held ice the longest is the Grizzly followed by the Yeti, followed by the Ingle, then Siberian, and last but not least, the Vibe Kayaks Element, 20 quart. Um, so anyways, these small coolers can hold ice anywhere from three to five days. Uh, I will note that the Ingle and the Siberian were significantly hotter during the day. The lids of these coolers were always t a minimum of 20 degrees hotter than the, um, than the white coolers and even the Yeti uh, Rody at being blue is still um, probably 15 degrees cooler than both the Ingle and the Siberian. So that definitely I think has an impact on your cooler is the uh, cooler color, especially if you're in the heat of summer and they're beaming down, the sun is beaming down on the cooler lid. So 
Anyways, our te test is wrapped up here. We're gonna line them all up and drain them for you so you can just see kind of uh, how fast they drain. The Grizzly has the largest drain plug in all of these coolers. Uh, but this wraps up the small cooler ice challenge brought to you by Coolers on Sale. We'll show you the drain and be sure to subscribe because we're giving away this Siberian Sidekick in less than uh, now four days. Uh, so subscribe, we're gonna be giving away more coolers here in the future. And thanks for watching. We look forward to more cooler reviews. A lot of condensation around the drain plug on these coolers. The bigger drain hole on the Ingle uh, compared to the Yeti and the Vod and the Siberian that is. The biggest drain hole of them all is on this Grizzly. This is a two inch drain hole. You can see the angle's already drained, so it's uh, significantly faster, and that was started halfway through, and you see the vibes and the roadie are still draining, uh, but the angle's already already drained out because of that larger drain hole. I anticipate the same thing's gonna happen with this Grizzly. 